Okay, so technically I got my first camera when I was a little kid, but this isn't where my filmmaking journey begins. It wasn't until about 17 years later when I decided to take a video class my sophomore year of college that really set me on this path. It was something that allowed me to express myself in a way that I hadn't been able to before, so I just decided to keep doing it. A year later, I ended up studying abroad in Australia, and it really got me excited about creating travel adventure videos. That's when I got my first GoPro, and I just realized it was incredible to share my experiences and my point of view with other people, and I just had no idea where it was going to lead me, and that was exciting. Just after graduating, I got invited by one of my former professors to join a small group of academics on a trip to the Amazon rainforest. We connected and stayed with an Amazonian tribe in a remote part of Ecuador to discover their way of life. It was my job to document the experience. This would set me on a whole new path. Fueled by this experience, I decided to pursue more. Six months later, I was on a solo trip to California, which included a lot of surfing, adventuring, meeting amazing people, and of course, more filming. While I was there, I got the official word that I was accepted into an English teaching program in Korea. A few weeks later, I was on a plane and off to Korea. This was a completely new and elevated level of travel and cultural immersion. Living and teaching in Korea presented many challenges, but it led to massive growth and self-discovery. I was also able to hone my filmmaking and photography skills over the course of the year there. Upon completion of the teaching contract, it was off to Southeast Asia to solo backpack and continue my journey of self-growth. Being in a place like Southeast Asia allowed for time to reflect and it just opened my eyes to diverse cultures and new ways of living. Actually, I, I love Avenger, and most of my friends right now, they love Avenger. So that's 
I have so many like I, I don't want to be at the front of the Before returning home to the US, I made one last stop in Spain to visit my cousin and reconnect with my little sister, who I hadn't seen in 15 months. Since this was my first time in Europe, I was excited to experience the streets and natural landscape with a camera in hand. It's now been nearly four months since I've returned back to the US and I'm still on this journey of becoming a visual creator. I'm so thankful and grateful for the opportunity that I have. And I'm freelancing full time now and it's scary, but I'm so pumped about the possibilities that it can bring. And by sharing my story with you, I feel that I can affect you in a way that will help you pursue what you want out of life. So thank you so much for following along in this journey and I won't let you guys down. Thanks for watching guys.